Welcome in Renegades. So we have some shocking crypto news today on the Internet Computer ICP. Um, I am going to ask some of the hardest questions um, that we want answers to. Like, what is the next crypto that's going to be integrated with ICP? Um, we're going to ask this AI system that has been integrated into the internetcomputer.org website. Um, we're going to ask some hard questions. I have another um, kind of banger question to ask this AI. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to look at some Definity news. We have a new collaboration that's happening with Definity and Horizon, um, which is a they're building this new kind of canister model, um, ACVS. Um, it's for like a a academia, um, stuff like that. So thank you all. Welcome to the channel. Um, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, our channel is blowing up. Thanks to you guys. Um, we had a viral tweet on Twitter um, in April. Um, it got 250 likes, 66 retweets. If you want to go, you can look at my Twitter handle right here. Um, go to Twitter and let's blow it up. It's called Roll Call Who Holds ICP. Um, you like it if you hold ICP retweet. Let's get that to go viral. Um, but I do want to make an announcement. As you saw at the beginning of the video, that trailer is for ICP Renegades NFTs. Um, so we just handed out our first monthly distribution for our top holders. Um, we sent them 60,000 ghost tokens each. And tomorrow or today, um, they're going to be getting an NFT, the top two holders. We sent tokens to the top five holders, so 300K tokens. Um, we donated 5% to charity. We're still waiting for a response from the hospital so that I can send ICP over there. And then we'll send that. So everything's going according to plan. Um, we still have like about two, 300 bucks um, that's growing um, with the money left over from the NFT sales. And if ICP goes up to like $12, we'll have that $1,000 for the demo. So I'm just going to hold that ICP in our um, NFT account until it grows to a thousand dollars and we can make our demo. So we have a plan. If not, we might launch another NFT. Um, I kind of want to get the demo out first before we launch again. I just want to give people like something solid they can, you know, chew on. So let's get into some news. Um, I'm glad everything's working. Good morning, everybody. Um, let's see. He says, uh, hi, my big buddy. How are you? Hope your kitty is fine. Yeah, we just did a video on the kitty on the other channel. Um, I'm teaching him. We're into our third step of training. The next one is getting him to shake my hand and all that. So I did it with my other cat. If you want to check that out, it's on my second channel. Uh, but welcome in Palenga and David. He said, what are your thoughts on ICP catching some flack about it being a security? Are we going to be okay? So this is something we've talked a lot. You can go watch my previous videos as we've talked about this a lot, but I will update you on that. Um, as you know, ICP was not labeled a security except through Coinbase. It wasn't labeled as a security as like they go after the Defendi Foundation like they went after Ripple. Now with XRP winning the judgment by Annalisa Torres saying that um, XRP is not a security on the secondary market. And guess what? Coinbase is that secondary market. So what, what that is going to set a precedent, they can't just say one security is not a secure, uh, one crypto is not a security on the secondary market, but another one is. And that's the whole basis of them coming after Coinbase on the secondary market. So no, I don't, I don't believe we have anything to worry about. Um, always do your own research and use your own judgment. Um, but in my opinion, no, we, we, we haven't had anything to worry about since the beginning. Um, and I don't think we have anything to worry about. The SEC is getting cracked down by the government. Um, they're actually going after the SEC for certain things, mistreatment of, you know, um, their power, you know, not knowing their laws, what they're trying to enforce, making things up, just all of that kind of stuff. And the judges are getting kind of tired of it. And so I don't think they have much of a case, honestly. So uh roll call tweet right here yeah so go give this tweet some love let's show people that uh x still is the place for icp that we haven't left um and if you have nfts let us know in the comments over there but let's get into this news now let me just share my screen with you and we get and at the end i have some really good indicators that let us know if we're gonna buy icp right now is it time to buy or are we gonna go back down to 450 we'll look at that um, so this is going to be a big episode. We're also going to look at some crypto bubbles, fear and greed index, some good stuff like that. So the five big things um, that are going on and that happened on ICP last week. Um, we talked about a lot of that and we did have our um, update, but this um, I'm just going to go over briefly. Significant developments have happened around ICP last week, including CKF, COP28 and an active participation at IBW official in India. 
So if you want to check that out, you can go look at my other videos. We're not going to take any time on this though. So we are ready for CKF though. And we did talk about this. You can watch my other videos on that as well. Um, but what I want to talk about today is the mint and swap features on plug wallet. So this is really, really cool because, yeah, gas fees are for fools or people that are Ethereum maximalists. Or if you just like to use lots of different blockchains, I don't blame you. I like to do lots of different stuff on lots of blockchains. So, yeah, gas fees are for fools. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to waste money on gas. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't ever want to waste my money on gas fees. I have like 50 graph tokens sitting in an Arbitrum wallet that I need Ethereum now to move on Arbitrum. So it just, it, it makes everything so much harder. Uh, you always have to remember to leave some gas in your wallet. Um, I moved the F and I forgot to leave a little bit for my GERT gas fee. Uh, so anyway, yeah, th this will help you not have to worry about those gas fees on Ethereum um, or ICP um, because they're non-existent. So um, this is 100% on chain though. And you can go to Plug Wallet. It's a browser extension. You can see I have it right here. Um, and you just bust that out. And you can trade um, CKF, you can swap ICP for CKF um, or other tokens for ICP and then ICP for CKF. So that's pretty interesting. Now, the partnership or collaboration, I should call it, that um, we are talking about. So the Definity Foundation and the Horizon, a New Delhi-based think tank, and um, India is one of the biggest growing crypto hubs in the world. Um, so ICP has really established um, a presence in India and New Delhi um, with collaborative uh, they will collaborate to deploy the Academic Credential Verification System, ACVS, utilizing ICP technology for statewide implementation in Manipur. So new YouTube interview program, ICP.talk, launched and Dominic Williams joined as speaker in the first episode. Man, this is my dream to have Dominic Williams on the channel. Uh, when my live stream gets 10K views, he will be over here. Uh, hopefully. So introduced a new performance counter on the internet computer to easily optimize async canister code. So I do want to um, encourage you to go check out this ICP.talk. We're, we're probably going to look into this on the channel soon. Uh, we can actually look into it right now. ICP talk. Let's just try ICP talk. Uh, no ICP. Um, oh, ICP.talk. Whoops. Try that. ICP talks. Uh, so let's try on YouTube. ICP talk. Wait, is it dot talk? Dot talk. Oh, so it's on the Definity channel. Okay. I thought it was like a new YouTube channel is what, what it sounded like. But that's cool. ICP Talks. I like this. 2.1K. Let's go. ICP. Oh, that's bad. Let's get out of there. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? That's not cool. Um. Anyway, let's get over here back to this. Um, so they have a new talk episode, um, new node provider proposals, which is good because it makes it more decentralized the more node providers that you have out there, right? Because the, the more concentrated amount of node providers that you have, the less decentralized it is. And we want it to be a fully decentralized world computer uh, events this week. So this is going to be coming up this week. Nice. Dude, this is a great article. Uh, let me share this with you guys as well. Definitely got to do that. You guys need to see this. And I will get to your questions at the end. Please feel free, especially once we get to the AI part. Um, I need you guys to ask some questions or right now, uh, let me know some questions that I should ask this AI about the internet computer. Uh, I have a really good question in mind that I'm not going to share with you until we get to the AI part. I already told you one of them, which is what is the next um, integration on the internet computer? What crypto is next? So we'll get an answer to that. Um, and then we'll get an answer to another one that uh, I think is even better than that. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So Dakar Days, oh, let's see, did I press send? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Dakar Days, uh, Dakar Bitcoin Days, Dakar, Senegal, ICP Cypher, Cypher Sphere in India Blockchain Week, Bangalore. Um, that's pretty cool. I want to see ICP Cypher Space, Cypher Space? 
ICP cipher space. Let's look at that ICP cipher space. And if that doesn't do anything, we'll try it spelled like they have it, but I think it's ICP cipher space, cipher space. Nope. Okay, well, darn. Darn, 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 darn. All right. Um, so we'll try Sio Her space. Sio Her. Sio Her space. Nah. Okay. So I don't I don't know. I, I want to know what that's about. So we, we need to hopefully find out more about that Indian blockchain week, Bangalore. So I'll look up that later. Try to give you more information on that. So IC protocol updates, uh, European subnet, threshold key derivation, privacy on the IC, CKF, the canister issued Ethereum twin token on the IC, limit SNS treasury proposals. Okay. SNS updates, the gold DAO. Oh, this is something I wanted to talk about because we do have, I'm glad this, this was brought up because we do have the vote. Let's go over there, actually. We do have the vote for gold DAO um, right now on the sns launchpad right here uh nns proposal whoa um for the gold DAO. so i already voted on this i already voted my yes so i'm not going to sign in and vote again um but it looks like they are going to get the um absolute majority um they already got the simple majority but it looks like they are possibly going to reach this in five hours if not uh, it's still going to go through because 34 percent yes 0.5 percent no uh i don't even know why people would vote no but this is really interesting the gold dow i would love to own a piece of this one day i just wish i could kyc uh over there but maybe i can have a friend like dude go go get an nft for me over there or something you know what i mean like hey i i want to get a piece of this gold dow somehow you know, like if I can't do it where I'm at, I, I have friends, you know, that hopefully could help me out and, you know, hook me up with a gold NFT, man. I want one. I want one. So I hope this passes. Um, I'm probably going to be uh, purchasing this just like I'm going to be purchasing um, a tracks token when it comes next. I was waiting to see how close they would get to their goal. Um, it does look like they are not going to reach their goal. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's over now. So they did not reach their goal. Trax is um, going to submit another proposal. We'll see another proposal down here from Trax and uh, possibly Querio IO. Um, so hopefully they will go through. I'm going to purchase next time on Trax too, um, but I really want to do this. So another announcement for the channel. Let me just come over here and talk to you. Let me talk to you for a second. So we have another channel or another announcement for the channel. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. And I'm going to pick one of you who's active in the chat. Um, I was going to do between 2000, like 2,900 or whatever and 3000, but I think I'm just going to pick somebody in the chat, um, that's subscribed. You have to be subscribed. Uh, that way I don't just limit it to like the, the new people, but the old people that have, um, you know, followed me, I'm going to give two ICP to somebody, um, the, the, in the next couple of streams, uh, before my, my, uh, before Christmas. I'm going to do it before Christmas. Once we hit 3,000 subs, um, I'm going to be watching the chat every single video. And the people that contribute the most that give like good ideas, good information, like telling me to look up stuff or stuff like that, or in the past that have done that, I'm going to be giving them to ICP. So it's going to be kind of a contest of our old heads seeing if you can get new information that I don't have on here, that's going to stand out to me. So, and then we can share it with everybody. So I want to thank you all for that. So let's get back over here. And see what else okay um we have the launch pad as you saw this tracks is going to be soon um but okay here we go so this says the upcoming querio sns decentralization sale and it is ending with one day within two days so this was like a day ago uh because it had yesterday and then today there is a proposal to create an sns dow for sneed as well i saw that on their open chat um and upcoming icp coins neutronite SNS decentralization, the initial proposal. So we're getting really good information here, guys. Uh, they, I, I just hope they keep bringing out, is this internet computer, Definity? Uh, yeah, I, I think this is Definity. So they, they just need to come out with stuff like this. This really helps, you know, to let us know what's going on and get the information out to everybody. So the total staked ICP is 247.7 million ICP, which is uh, damn near half of the supply, half, half of all ICP is locked up. 
So this is big information. A lot of that is locked up for eight years too. So people would say, oh, they dump tokens. No, most of these tokens are actually locked up. Over How many cryptos have over almost 50% of the token locked up in staking? Let's let's talk about that for a second. So maybe a couple, but not a whole lot. I mean, that that's half of the supply. So new members in ecosystem form things, enable users to share in to in encrypted forms, Lucrisma target and bring together a user's entire financial life into a single single user friendly Web3 platform. Uh, Ticket World, a one stop solution for global event ticketing. Dude, I buy wrestling tickets. I went to WrestleMania in 2019, right before the big event happened. I uh, saw Ronda Rousey main event WrestleMania. That was pretty cool. Um, but I like to go to events, not just that, like cruises. You could get like cruise tickets on here. You could get, you know, airplane tickets. You could get, you know, event tickets. If it's just events, they could pop, they could move into the airline industry, into, you know, lots of different things. And I, I think there needs to be a Web3 Uber type deal. Uh, Web3 DoorDash type deal, right? Where we do everything on the blockchain. That would be interesting. Somebody do that, please. If you're watching right now, do that. Do that, please. Smash that like button. We have 12 people watching. We need uh, at least 12 likes. So Mod Club, Boom Dow, Open Chat, Ecosystem Project Highlights. Okay. New feature allows users to directly swap tokens from their wallet. Oh, what? On open chat, you can now exchange your tokens on open chat. What? What? Okay, so uh, ICP taking over the world again. Look at all that. So they're just doing everything. So ICP Hub North America arranged a workshop to explore Ethereum and Bitcoin integrations at the University of Nicosia. So Singapore partnered with the DTC group to launch online Ideathon. Germany joined the next block expo group in Berlin. Balkan kicked off with a winner Ideathon. So they're just they're 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 educating, they are brainstorming, they're doing their thing. Thai Melee hosted meetup for event in KL, connect the dots. Uh, South Africa hosted hackathon in Kampala. ICB Hub Philippine hosted IC Build Camp. So yeah. Uh, upcoming NOAA conference in Zurich, AI meets Web3 Hackathon, Taipei Blockchain Week, Associate General. Okay, I mean, let's go. Okay, move on, move on. So I know, as you know, we were just talking about ICP of North America, and there is news for developers. Uh, build on ICP using TypeScript, it has never been easier. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the official Discord channel. So you can join it right here. I am going to link this because I think ICP Hub North America um, is going to be a very good spot for information. So let's paste that in. So definitely check that out. All right, moving on. Let's see, where were we at right here? Okay, so now we get to the good part of the video. And I need to know, you guys have to tell me uh, your opinion on this. So I already asked it a question. We're going to look at the question I asked it, which I already told you. And then we're going to look at a new question that I think um, AI should be able to handle very well. It didn't handle this question as good as I wanted it to. Uh, it would be an answer I would give you, which I hope I'm not a robot. Is, does that mean that I'm a robot? Oh, damn. I think I just admitted to being a cyborg. Damn it. Um, anyway, let's go over here. Uh, so this is what I asked them. I said, what is the next crypto to directly integrate with the internet computer after Ethereum? It says, hmm, I don't know enough to give you a confident answer yet. Uh, the extracts provided do not specify which cryptocurrency will be directly integrated with the internet computer after Ethereum. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, I recommend checking the official internet computer documentation and announcements. Isn't this exactly what I told you about the CKF upgrade? Uh, the, I, I can't tell you exactly when it's coming out. I can't give you an answer for that because I can't. <laughs> it's just funny how this answered that. And, and this is on the internetcomputer.org. If you you know click out of here, there, uh, here, hold on. Uh, maybe I have to reset the page. Let's reset. Reset. Uh, right here. So internetcomputer.org, they, they have this thing called askicp.ai. Wait, what? You can ask? Okay, now here's for the banger question. Now, you guys have to let me know your questions in the chat, please. I, we, we need to ask, stump this. Come up with a good question like I did. 
This might actually count towards that two ICP. So let's go. Okay, this is the question though. What crypto currency is the internet computer's biggest competitor? I want to know. What is the, in the cryptocurrency that's our, our biggest competitor? And then we're going to ask it, what is our biggest ally or biggest, uh, uh, how would we even word that? What is our, our best, hmm, friendliest, what is the friendliest blockchain for the internet computer? Okay, we can actually get rid of that. Okay, I had to do this twice last time. Maybe. Because it happened pretty quick the second time I did it. Come on, man. Let me know in the chat. Come on, guys. Let me know in the chat what you want me to ask this thing. Let's maybe try this again. Okay, let's try it again because I had to do it twice last time, is the, what cryptocurrency? Hold on, what crypto? Come on, give me a fast answer. Yes! Oh, dang it. This, okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 calm down. <laughs> All right. So it says, based on the information provided in the extracts, it's not explicitly stated which cryptocurrency is the biggest competitor to the internet computer. However, Ethereum is mentioned in the context of the world computer vision that was first mooted within the Ethereum community in 2014. The internet computer is also compared to Ethereum in terms of hosting smart contracts, where it's stated to be millions of times cheaper. This might suggest that Ethereum could be seen as a competitor, but without more information, it's not possible to definitively identify the biggest competitor. Wow. So I, I want to kind of elaborate on this. I don't think that Ethereum, I, I'm really there with Vitalik Buterin, but what it is saying is that it is not comparing the internet computer to Solana. It's not comparing the internet computer to any other, and nothing, nothing against Solana anymore. You know, I, I, okay, you guys won me over, but I'm just saying, if, if you look at in the context of what this computer looks over all the information on the internet, every single piece of resource at its disposal, like it takes me an hour to find like a few pieces of information to give you guys. Um, and they find all of it through the whole internet in a few seconds. So it's what it's saying is the capabilities of internet computer, uh, they are uh, similar to the Ethereum capabilities, except it's a million times cheaper and there, it just is a standout crypto. Um, I want to know, we're going to go in the chat. I need to know a good question. This is going to be huge. Um, let's see. Come on, guys. Give me a question here. Give me a question. Uh, hold on. Let's see. What are some milestones that are going to be undeniable for influencers? Some big things coming up they can't ignore like that on the horizon. Maybe we could ask it um, about influencers. Like say, who is the biggest ICP influencer? I don't know. This might hurt my ego though a little bit if I'm not, not that. But I'm probably not because Jerry Banfield has a lot more followers. Okay. Who is the biggest ICP influencer? Come on, guys. Give me questions, man. I know you guys are smart. Dominic Williams, the founder of Def Okay. I, I can, I can, yeah, I can, I can get, I can get down with that. Uh, that definitely makes sense. Why didn't I even think of that? Wow. Uh, Do Dominic Williams, the founder of Defendi and the Internet Computer, appears to be a significant influencer in the Internet Computer Project. He is frequently mentioned in various contexts, including interviews, presentations, and tutorials. He is also listed as an editor and writer on the Defendi Medium page. Okay, cool. Questions, questions. Uh, let's see.
how long until ICP is integrated with every blockchain? Ah, already integrated with the Bitcoin network uh, that enables smart contracts uh, and the theory of uh, directly on the such a theory on the timeline for these developments for the integration with all other blockchains. Dang it. This thing doesn't know. OK. Um, let's see. When will ICP hit 10 billion blocks? This should be a question it could answer. It, based on like it should be able to do some math real quick, I hope. Oh, come on. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's see what it does say. The extracts mentioned that of January 18, 2021, the internet computer is processing 31.7 blocks per second. And by December 2021, it was processing 30 blocks per second. However, without knowing the current number of blocks, it's not possible to calculate when it will hit 10 billion blocks. Okay. The internet computer has 2.6 billion blocks with how many blocks per second though i don't know how many let's just say 31.7 still 31.7 blocks per second when will the will it hit 10 billion blocks Okay, this is the last question I'm going to ask because it's probably going to give me the same generic answer, unfortunately, because I'm I'm just hitting it with bangers. Hitting them with bangers. <laughs> uh, is ICP trending in India? That's actually a good question. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So that was a good question. We got this. Okay, this was a... So you have to be more specific on the questions that you ask. So it says, to calculate when the internet computer ICP will hit 10 billion blocks, we first need to determine how many more blocks are needed to reach this target. Then we can divide this number by the rate of blocks per second to find out how many seconds it will take. So here's the calculation. Determine the number of blocks needed to reach 10 billion, 10 billion, uh, uh, 2.6 billion, we need 7.46, uh, 7.4 billion blocks. Divide this number by the rate of blocks per second, 7.4 billion blocks, uh, divided by 31.7 blocks per second. This will give us a number of seconds needed to reach 10 billion blocks. To convert this to more understandable unit of time, like days, months, or years, you can use the following conversions. One minute, 60, okay. Uh, so how long? Please note this calculator is 31. But it doesn't tell us how long. Hold on. So how many? Okay, so let's just divide this then, I guess. This is what we're going to have to do is divide it. They're going to make us do a little bit of work. So 7.4 billion. Hold on. So 40, 740, 7.4, 74. 747.4 billion divided by 31.7. So that's seconds. Oh my God, dude. So divide that by 60. And then divide that by 24. And then divide that by 365.25. Four hundred and forty three days. Four hundred and forty three days. It's going to be at 10 billion bucks. So a year and like a couple months. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that's thirty one point seven blocks and it's probably going to go faster. So we'll probably see it in about a year. That's really good. OK, let's go to the question. See if there's any good questions um, for that. CFK means phantom on ICP. OK, uh, let's see. Volume is pumping. Question. What is the ex uh, price expected from ICP? Should I ask that? Should I ask it a question? OK, we are moving on to the price part of the video now. So that is a good question. Let's ask that. Uh, what? So again, 
I can, what's the expected 2025 bull run price for ICP? Okay. So we have to tell it what price it is now. ICP is at, let's just say, uh, let's just say 550 because that's what it was at earlier today. I know it's probably at five. Well, let's just say 530. Fine. We'll just say 530. Uh, ICP is at $5.30 in December 2023. It has an all-time high of, let's just say $500 to be in the middle of what everything says, 750, 600, five, we'll just say $500. Uh, has an all-time hit, let's just say hit. An all-time high of $500 in, dang, when did it hit that? Let's go over here real quick and look when it hit that. Uh, let's just say May of 2021. Okay, May of 2021. So in May 2021, what is the expected price of ICP in 2025? Okay. Okay. There we go. I think that that should give us a, oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me copy this. That's okay. I thought it was telling me I can't do it anymore, but what it's telling me is I've done it too much on the one thing. Okay. Get rid of that. Um, yep. All right. Refresh the page. Let's try it one more time. This is a good, this is a good question though. Very good question. Let's paste this on here. All right, let's see if it's going to give us a good answer. Oh, come on. No confident answer, but the price of ICP or any other cryptocurrency is influenced by a, multiple, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. a multitude of factors, and it's impossible to predict with certainty. It's important to note that the value of ICP can be affected by factors such as the number of users and developers using ICP, the amount of ICP burned for computation, and the amount of ICP minted to pay node providers. Temporary price movements can also affect the total valuation of this network, as discussed in this forum post. For more detailed understanding, follow my channel. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> uh, for real. So now we're moving on to the price. Thank you for actually giving us a gateway into the price. Uh, I mean, what is the biggest supportive blockchain for ICP? Oh, okay. So we do have to answer more of these questions real quick. I mean, that that's a good question. Uh, what is the more supportive blockchain? And that would be Ethereum, I would, I would say. But that's a good question. What is the most supportive? Whoop. Block, whoop. blockchain blockchain for ICP okay. blockchain the blockchain we're, we're from Transylvania out here that's a good question though very good So it's not going to pick one. It looks like it's it, it's just saying that it's the most that the, there is not a most supportive, but Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. It looks like that's what it's saying is Bitcoin and Ethereum are the most supportive because they are integrated. That would make sense. That's a good question, though. Thank you. Uh, that's what this one is. ICP trending in India this week. Let's ask. That's a good question too, actually. Uh, get on here. Get on here. Is ICP trending in India? <sighs> Sorry, can't answer that one. Not on here. Uh, ICP strong support five bucks. Okay, explain the difference between locking up tokens and staking tokens. So locking up tokens and staking tokens are basically the same thing. Um, it just depends on what blockchain you do on, on because some you can unstake right away. Some do have a 
an unstaking period and some also have a lockup period. So it depends on the blockchain because basically locking up and staking are, you know, the same thing. The only difference is while you stake tokens, it depends on if they're locked up and how long. So anytime you stake tokens, they're locked somewhere. So let's make that clear. Now, locking tokens means that you can't open it for a certain time as well. So let's distinct from those two different things. You are sending your tokens to somebody else unless you are a delegator yourself. Um, then you can just delegate the tokens. You have to have enough. But if you're locking tokens, um, most likely you're participating in like, you know, um, somebody else's staking protocol or on the Internet computer governance, um, which would be a lockup period so that you can earn a mass amount of rewards. Um, that's what they're doing. They're compensating you for locking your ICP up um, and giving you a certain amount of that supply through the MNS. So that's a difference. It's a very subtle difference, but it is a difference. Uh, open chat, I think, will be the winner out of the SNS project, this bull run. Okay. Okay. Bold prediction. But uh, what do you think, chat? I have like 18,000 Cardano. Should I convert all those into ICP next time ADA runs up? Um, wow. Let's let the chat answer that because I like to have a, a very diversified portfolio. So it kind of, I can't answer that. So hopefully the chat can because it all depends on if you have a good portfolio, how much of it are you putting in the internet computer? How much do you have for altcoins specifically? If you don't have one, you're just saying I do 20% of my portfolio into altcoins, then it's up to you to decide. You can put more in the internet computer. That Yeah, whatever's up to you. But I would also keep some Cardano myself uh, for the next board. But that's just me. I'm not an ICP maximalist, but I, I'm holding way, 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 way more ICP, way more uh, than than. Cardano, but I want to have a little bag Cardano. Cardano's, you know, I called two dollar Cardano last bull run. Just to tell you that. Uh, only twenty five ch uh, million chat will be in circulation roughly during the next bull run. Okay, Mr. Ogan, good to see you, man. See, this is why I want people coming back from the past. Because hey, Meta Al, one of my top holders, you. Yeah. So he got some ghost token today. I want to thank you for that, my brother. Uh, Y'all hit that like button, please. Uh, he could see a three to five billion. Okay. ISP is actively hiring new talent. Yeah, and they're also hiring developers and crypto influencers if you're not a douchebag and just here for like five grand real quick. If you stick around like me, Definity will, you know, be more inclined to keep giving you grants and stuff. There's a reason I've got four grants. I'm not saying I'm the best thing that ever happened but what i'm saying is i put in the work you know i i fulfilled my my obligations and you know i made some fire content lately you know so and, and i've been loyal and that's what it takes in in this world and, and and you survive the bear market that that was the hardest part so uh here's our crypto bubbles we're getting into the price talk now so we are going to have some really fire indicators for you uh, after this but i do want to look at inj uh, this is one I've invested in before. Uh, this is a KuCoin uh, coin, KuCoin coin, KuCoin token, uh, RLB. We have synthetics here. Oh, AVAX. Okay, C can we forgive AVAX too, since it's up 20% for, for Kyle Roche? Or, uh, yeah, Kyle Roche. Can we forgive him? Now, this is a TRX token, BitTorrent. Uh, I definitely do hold a little bit of this. I definitely hold some TRX too. Where are you, TRX? Uh, it's still holding the price pretty good. This, this crypto holds its price pretty well. Doesn't really pump a lot though. Uh, dot 2.4. Now Vara. I, I made a lot of money on Vara. I wish Vara was on here because when I told you about that Coinbase thing, after I told you about it, the price doubled. The price doubled after I told you about uh, Vara on Coinbase. I, I earned $24 and turned into 50. Turned into 50 bucks. So ICP is up 3% today. Vet 5.8. Algo. Wow. Kicking butt at 16%, OP 15%, BNB 8.5, uh, IMX 23, TIA, uh, I've heard of that, but Toncoin, HBAR, IOTA. Okay, so now let's look at the volume. This is absolute just stinky, crazy volume. This is shocking volume, shocking. All this news is shocking, but that AI, that was pretty shocking to, to hear some of the answers that it gave us. But this is $100 million, $106.2 million in one day. 94 ranked out of all cryptos, number 32 by market cap, volume up 71%. So that means we were at like 60 mil yesterday. Is that, is that what we were? 60% of 100, say about 60 mil. So let's look. Uh, 12, 11, 12, 10. So let's go back here though. Yeah, 12, 12, 10. So 80 mil. Okay, we're at 80 mil. 80 mil. 80, 90. 12, 10. 
But before that, we were at 60, about 60. So actually, so 71%, 100% would be 100 million, though. How could that only be 26? Okay, anyway, that, uh, anyways, maybe that's wrong. Uh, but yeah, so 100 mil in volume. Uh, but let's look at this. This is good news. So we didn't look at the different time frames last time on this. We did not. We only looked at the daily indicators for this. And I just I just realized that we can change the time frames to see what time frame is the best to purchase ICP right now. And it looks like four hour is one of the best. So if we look at the price score, it's neutral uh, because the market is kind of like weird right now. Some cryptos are pumping, some are dumping. Bitcoin dumped, kind of brought us down. Internet computer went back up. Uh, so it's kind of neutral right now. Neutral. Uh, but the volatility, very positive. Why is this positive? Because now you can get in at a lower price before it pumps again, if we're going to continue to pump, right? If not, you just dollar cost averages, it goes down because we're not going to go down much further. We're starting the bull run soon. So this is a really good time to get into this crypto, not financial advice, it's just common sense, right? Volume, positive. 100 million, right? Very positive. Very, very positive uh, volume. Impulse, people are just scooping it up. This is their their psychological the fear and greed 66 impulse very positive people are absolutely impulse buying technicals neutral okay so we'll look at that we'll see we'll see if we agree on the four hour neutral uh, hopefully uh, we see something else but social very positive dominance okay so this is the Bitcoin dominance right so the Bitcoin dominance is very negative right now so it's really affecting the price of ICP on the four hour so whatever Bitcoin does it can smash the price Bitcoin hammer knock knock bam bam bye bye. So search, very positive. So that means there is, when the search results are up, the greed is up. The impulse is up. So this is a big indicator for me because that search volume means people are looking to buy ICP. They're looking to buy it right now. Whales, positive. Big money's coming in. Remember, this was negative last time, wasn't it? We have positive whale momentum. Order book is looking kind of negative because look at all the volume. You know, the price went up. People were selling. The order book went down, right? 100 mil in volume. We, we, we went down. From five, we went back up, you know, 568, went back up over here to 555, you know, had another double top, double top, double top, double top, bam, three double tops to smash us down. But then people are scooping it up, scooping it as we go up. So the order book was looking pretty bad over here. You know, big sell off, big pump, big sell off, big pump. Okay. So let's look at the different time frames because I want to see, okay, the daily is not going to look as good. I'm going to tell you that right now. I looked at this earlier. The daily does not look as good. Okay. We're looking at the price score positive. Okay. Price is still doing pretty good. We're neutral though, as the fear and greed goes. Okay. So people are not necessarily scared. Okay. Negative volatility. Wait, how is this negative volatility on the daily? So if we go from the 10th to the 11th, right? I mean, we're just in barely in the 10th. So I was right. Like 60 mil over here. I knew, I knew, I knew my... I knew I knew my percentages. Where's the 60 mil? I know I saw 60 mil over here. All right here. So yeah. So there was 60 mil over here. That's what, okay. Anyway, so yeah, we have a lot of volatility, but that's good. Way up to 550, uh, 568, back to 555 after going to 529. Then going down to 524 before going back up to 543 before going back down to five. So you could make trades all through here. That's good volatility to me. I don't know what that that's on the daily too. Hold on. Actually, let's look on the day. Sorry. So yeah, look at this volatility on the day. 556, 57, whatever down to 501. Nice support level at $5. Big level. We're talking about 490 to five bucks. So that's pretty interesting as well. Um, we have impulse neutral. Whales are positive on the daily, though. There is big money scooping up ICP. They know. They know. The whale, if, if you ever want to follow anybody in crypto, don't follow influencers. Don't follow, you know, you, you can listen to what I say and do your research. But if you really want to follow what people are doing, dang it, uh, follow the whales. The whales will lead you to more food. <laughs> Order book, very negative. Technical neutral, neutral. Okay, well, let's look at the smaller time frames. Um, so I think we looked at the four hour. Let's look at the 15 minute. Oh, very positive price score, 69 grade, volatility, very positive, volume, very positive, impulse, very positive, technical neutral, whales, very, very positive. So dang it. Okay, I can't do that no more. Can't do that no more. It always wants to take me down there. Search negative, dominance, very negative, social negative. So that's in the 15 minutes. 
Let's look at the one hour. So everything is positive here except for the dominance um, and order book, which we can see why, because there's big sell off. That's why there's a lot of volume, but the price still is going up. Very positive, positive, very positive, very positive. Greed 73 on the one hour. Nice. So let's go look at my price targets and then we will give you kind of an idea of what's going to happen. We did have this um big price target at 553 let's see exactly where we went up to 550 so right here 553 this was a big uh area that i was talking about um right here so between five you know 550 550 we are going to 550 told you uh but i'm only doing this to help you i'm not this oh i told you so no I do this because I want other people to know where the price is going because I want to know too. And this helps me look at the price and tell you at the same time. So where do I see us going? Well, there's a big, big support level between $4.90 and $5. This is a box area of support. This whole area from $5 down to $4.90 is going to hold a massive level of support for us. It is a big level going all the way back months and months and months. So, and plus with that volume, 548, we just went up a lot. Right now, since we've been talking, let's go back and look at this. 532 when I started this stream. And we are at 548 now. And we're going to be going up to test this $5.53 marker, even up to uh, 558. This, this area right here is an area of box um, resistance that I can see is getting above 553, 558. Um, and then going back up to test. Um, I, I think we're going to test about $6 pretty soon, uh, I, possibly before the end of the year. I don't think we're going to be doing it very soon because on the daily, we are overbought. That's why some of these indicators, when we go to the daily over here, uh, were very negative. As you see, we're starting to get overbought. Uh, the dominance, ooh, so the day isn't too bad. Uh, the whales are selling on the day. That does make a difference. Uh, because look at the overbought um, uh, trajectory we're heading to at 64. We are above this simple moving average. I mean, we are probably going to be going up and testing this area again, uh, what it looks like. Uh, we do have momentum. We have the support to move up, but we do have resistance right here, which has been hammered on a couple times. We landed on this line perfectly uh, right here, closed at 557, and we closed up here at... 557 and 529. So we closed down here. Okay, which uh, confirmed a support level right here. So now we have support right here. This confirmed a double double area. So now we have support at about 529, which is that's good. So if we go down, we might not necessarily just hit this 530 and smash through it all the way down to about five dollars again. We might have you know some support right here now. Um, that's good. So, but the third one is going to break it a little more, um, or we could have a wick down again. That that's always possible. Um, but let's go on to, they say the hour, uh, let's do the four hour. Cause this was the most positive one. And as you see, you see why, uh, we have a nice, nice breakout here from kind of a V shape recovery here. We have a nice V, um, which is going to bring us, I believe back up to this area. The thing is, this was a double top that brought us down. So we have this momentum upwards, which we got on the weekly as well. And as you see, we either slow climb up or start to blast up. So we could have an ascending triangle still forming here, um, which could be a continuation pattern to the upside. And it could bring us a little further um, up. Let's see. I'm going to do that. Right there. Okay, so we're going to cut through those from this point to this point. And we have, uh, here, let me, that right there. Hold up. Okay, so we have this ascending triangle, this upward trending support line, and this uh, horizontal um, the resistance line. So if we break above this, I see a move. Uh, let's go to the weekly so I can tell us where we're going to go. If I do see a move, uh, there's a possible before we hit $6, 575. So there's going to be an area right here from 575, you know, 580, 575, 580, this area right here. 
Uh, I see us making a test up there. We did go to 569, and that's that's why. This is an area of resistance right here before we get to the $6 level. So we, we I think we're going to be moving at least to 575 pretty soon. Uh, we will be going back to 550, of course. Uh, but the cool thing is I do believe we have a movement up there. We do have a bull flagish, you know, looking thing on this here. So if we get another bull flag, uh, we could end up at like $7, 650, 640 right there, and then maybe even 730. If we get another bull flag, let's look where that would go. So we just would measure. Eh. Eh. Okay, I'm actually going to do it from right here. Boom. So if we do break out from this bull flag, uh, right, right around that 640 mark. Uh, si hold on, that is si yeah, 640. Right around 640, a little above that. So our last bull flag was going to bring us to 620, which we might actually hit up here, uh, right here, 622. This is the last bull flag. This one's going to bring us up even a little bit higher. This is really interesting. So this is 558 to 470. So that's about 80 cents. So is this from 550 to 640? That's 90 cents. So we could move 90. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, it actually might have even been a little bit longer than that. Oh, well. That's just from here to here. But if you count the bull flag, I think it was a smaller bull flag from like here to here. And that's why we only went up here instead of the 620. But we are starting to get overbought on the weekly. I wish this thing had a weekly time frame here. Um, so, yeah. Now, let's look on this 15 minute because this also looked a little bit bullish. OK, we're overbought on the 15, which doesn't matter as much. We do have an ascending triangle right here on the, the smaller 15 minute. So I really, it just looks like this price wants to continue going up. We are, you just have to rely on some of these indicators that are saying it's neutral. And that's why, because so we're overbought, but we're also in a momentum and we also have bullish patterns and we also have big bullish patterns on the weekly. We have momentum. We have the bull, you know, market starting now. So uh, it's just really hard to tell. Um, I told you where I think we're going to go to the upside. Now let's look at the opposite of that. If on the 15 minute we get rejected here, we are going to go back down and touch 542 um, and then 530, which is going to be a big level of support right here. And if that breaks, we're going back down to $5. So that, that's where I see everything heading in the price. And But look at this three month. I just want to uh, note this, 81% in three months. So you almost could have made almost 100% profit in three months. So $1,000, $2,000, $10,000, you got $20,000. So, and it still says on the technicals um, that we have a buy signal on the 15 minute. So that, uh, actually, I think this is just overall on that so we can look at more technicals over here yeah that's a one day okay one cell 10 neutral 15 buy signals strong buy on the moving averages uh oscillators say buy uh rsi is neutral momentum buy macd level buy uh all the moving averages buy like you see here uh except the whole moving average nine because we're above you know some stuff that's pretty interesting to see, though, all the technicals here say good. Now, let's look at that 15 minute and see if we're still good. And it does look like it's still on the smaller time frame uh, that, yeah, eight neutral, three sell, 15 buy. Oscillators are neutral, uh, but the, the, the indicators say let's buy. 13 buy signals, one neutral, one sell. So there's a couple sells over here on the oscillator, but a couple buys as well. Kind of neutral, if I ask, uh, say so myself. Uh, whole moving average again. But these are looking really, it, it looks like there's just power. There's power and the, oh, strong buy on the one hour. So let's look at the four hour again, because this was supposed to be the biggest uh, indicator. Yeah, the four hour strong buy almost all the way to the very end. Almost all. Let, let's throttle that ICP renegades. Let's go. So, yeah, buy strong buy, 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 two buy, one sell. Uh, it looks like we have more buy momentum than sell momentum on every single time frame. We, I mean, you can look at the one minute, whatever. I'm not looking. Uh, I will give you guys this. Um, I mean, it's just trading view. You guys come over here. You can look at it. Pretty cool. Um, let's go. 
So let's see here. Um, big whales and future millionaire. Okay. Three to five billion market cap for open chat in 2025, just off the strength of ICP and open chat. Okay. Actively hiring. Okay. Just added 2000 ICP to my neuron. Is, is this Jerry Banfield? You know, he just followed my channel. Shout out Jerry Banfield, man. Thank you. Thank you for following my channel, man. Uh, we definitely need to collaborate sometime. If you're watching, I do watch your videos too. Um, I think you're probably one of the best, you know, up and coming ICP influencers out there. So uh, just keep it up, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Big whale and future millionaire. I know 2000 ICP is a lot. I'm trying to get back to 2000 myself. So PPI and CPI report this week is very volatile, which can mean money making in short term. 75% of my ICP, I'll take profits at $50 to cover my initial deposit and the rest I will probably let ride for the future. Nice. It is a long-term investment, but you know, as long as you don't, uh, Bobby O, yeah, I haven't really seen Bobby O too much, uh, but maybe he follows my channel, maybe, you know, I'll follow his and you know, whatever, uh, uh, or, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. Maybe I like one of his videos, I'll follow him. That's the way it works. You're like, Bobby O, Bobby O. Any luck with Coinbase support yet? That is a good question. Hopefully you can get everything worked out with your KYC and get over there and start trading, man. Um, so, dang, that sucks. Um, I think that's about all we're going to have. Thank you guys for coming. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this on your social media. Let's get these indicators out there. Let's get this AI uh, questions out there because I want to know in the chat more questions to ask. We might do that every now and again just to have some, some interesting questions to ask on the internet computer AI. It's different than chat GPT. Uh, it's directly, I think, on the blockchain possibly. I don't know. We'll look more into that. So, All right, guys. That being said, goodbye and good ICP.